Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now, that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. They'll fake the give. Now gone. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Goff now looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Gibbs. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. To throw is gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he'll go down at the 28. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So second and four from the 22. Here's Goff. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Gibbs. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Montgomery is in for a Lions touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line.
Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They go play action with Hertz. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. It's Brian Branch with it. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. So first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Right. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Golf. Pass incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Here's second and ten. A shotgun snap for Golf. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Raymond bringing it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Gone. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Golf. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Kevin Byard. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Oh, 
The final shot before break here. Golf. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you'd think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now Lumen. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Going back to Gibbs on first down. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They'll try the air now with Golf. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. The 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect him to do exactly that. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Fourteen. Here's Goff now on second down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside, probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Lions first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. And meanwhile, Goff's throw going into the hands of Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes across the 40-yard line. Now a first down throw. Goff. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Throwing again is gone. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he is going to have the Lions first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Now Goff on first down. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. On second down, Montgomery. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now it's gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three. It leaves him with fourth and one. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, giving him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From the 43, here's a second and eight. They'll run right here with Swift. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. 
They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Here's Hurts to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 24-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Continuing to keep their foot on the gas. and It looks like they're just having fun out there. They're loose, they're free, and they're enjoying what the scoreboard looks like. I'd have to say I agree with you totally. They're having a blast out there all game long when they throw the football. They're picking up nice chunks of real estate, significant yardage on just about every throw that they make. And there's another one there, and they continue to have that fun that you just talked about. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Second and 11 now. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Right back to Swift again on second down. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Even with the good gain, I thought they might accept that one. Yeah, you thought maybe they'd go with the downs as opposed to the yardage. So if you're taking the yardage now, second and less than five, that tells me you feel good about how your offense is working. To throw on second down is gone. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. That pass caught. It's Williams. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. On first down, gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Play action. It's gone. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 
Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta, 35 yards. And the Lions get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Uh, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon God. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field. Ambiguity, no? Being great as ambiguity, no?